Welcome back, Gemini's. I'm back with another video. If you are new to the channel, go ahead and click the bell to subscribe. Go ahead and come be a part of the Empress Empire gang. Yes, yes, yes. You don't want to miss out, guys. So this is going to be a general read for Gemini's. All right, Gemini. 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 Let's see what we got for y'all. I hope it's something positive. I hope it's something positive. All right, so we're going to talk briefly about October. <clears throat> These are general reads, guys, so they may or may not resonate. Don't take it personal. If it does not, you can book a personal. <laughs> All right, I'm running new client special, so if you're new, you'll get a special rate um, to get, you know, a personal reading. If it resonates, great. This was your read, okay? This is going to be for Gemini, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus, okay? Let's talk about it. Let's talk, Gemini. Come on in. Come on in. Come on in. Let's talk. What message is there for Gemini, Sun, Moon, and Rising, Venus? Gemini, please. Gemini. Gemini. All right, Geminis, let's do it. Let's go for it. Let's go for it, Gemini. Gemini, what message is there for Gemini? For October, please. All right. Oh, at the bottom of the deck, guys, we got the Ten of Swords. Okay, so there is a complete ending to a situation. Something is done, over with, or there is some type of betrayal. Now, with the Hermit, ooh, and the Eight of Cups, yeah, somebody is done and gone. Someone is saying goodbye. Somebody's done. I'm clearly seeing that. Something is over with. Something is done. We got the Seven of Cups. There's that decision. Judgment. Yep, yeah, that final decision. The Strength card. The Two of Wands. Yeah. Ten of Pentacles and the Four of Pentacles. Page of Cups and the Sun. Knight of Pentacles and the King of Swords. Most definitely. You guys are trying to find the courage or you have found the courage within yourself to make a final decision. Okay? You're making plans. Let's see what we got going on. Why is the Seven of Cups here? Why is the Seven of Cups here? Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio's energy. We got the lovers, you guys' energy. But this is also a decision between two people. Now, in this case, this could be a decision between two or more people because we have the Seven of Cups. It doesn't necessarily have to be people. It could be things, job, career, uh, just multitude of different things, okay? Yeah, this is your chance to do something new. Wheel of Fortune and the Ace of Wands. So the universe is conspiring, okay, to give you a fresh, fresh, brand new chapter on something, okay? The judgment is saying that this is that final decision, the judgment call. Yep, the Fool and the Ace of Cups. Yep, a new beginning, all right? So some of you have a new beginning in love, a new beginning and just in general, Okay, but are you afraid to take that risk? I don't see you being afraid to take that risk. I see for some of you, you've already taken that risk. Okay, yeah, you've already moved forward. You've already moved forward. You left this behind. The seven of wands, always feeling like you need to defend yourself, fight, argue, uh, be in disagreements. Like you've healed from that. Okay. And some of you still need time to heal. And you feel like the only way you're going to do that is if you are at a distance, okay? So some of you are moving, okay? Moved out, move on, move to another uh, city, state. Monster strength card here. This is Leo's energy. You could be dealing with the Leo. Someone possibly stole someone's money here or stole something from somebody. Okay, Seven of Swords and the Ace of Pentacles. This is someone taking something from somebody and running off with it. See, 
Yeah. The Eight of Pentacles and the Nine of Pentacles. I feel like someone stole somebody's money. Stole. Someone stole from you. Somebody took something away from you. That could have been your, your dignity, your pride, with that strength card here. They took something very important from you. And it doesn't necessarily have to be money. They took something away from you. Okay. Now the, with the two of wands here, the three of swords wanted to jump out. Why is the two of wands here? Yeah, king of cups and the empress. For some of you, I'm getting like some, I feel like some of you are really dealing with a broken heart. And you're trying to heal, okay? You're trying to heal. And for some of you, you were stuck for so long. You were stuck in a situation, okay? But you're ready to move on, okay? You're ready to move on. Ten of Pentacles, Queen of Cups wanted to reveal herself, and the Chariot. You could be dealing with a Cancer. But for some of you, yeah, see, some of y'all have already left. Yeah, decided to end this relationship um, and be single, Lots of four of pentacles here. Someone is keep calling someone, interrupting their peace. Um, why is the page of wands here? Yeah. You may have to, to block this person. Nine of wands. You may have to block this person from your social media. Um, someone possibly keeps commenting on your page, keeps sending you messages, keeps trying to get in contact with you. But you may have to go ahead and cut this person off. Okay, page of cups, the world, yeah. Some of you like trying to delete this. I feel like somebody's going to be commenting under your statuses. You're trying to delete them. You're trying to delete it. Yep, ten of swords and the knight of wands, so they won't be able to come back and comment again you're gonna have to block this person okay because this person is petty all right i'm getting like y'all dealing with somebody that's real petty now the sun card is how they view things you could be dealing with the leo i'm getting keep commenting someone is keep calling Someone is going to continue to call. They're going to continue to comment. They're going to continue to do things to get under your skin and get your attention. I'm getting like, they don't want you to have a break. They want you to feel overwhelmed. Okay, why is the Knight of Pentacles here? You're dealing with a jerk. This is making you very, feel it very anxious. Some of you uh, may decide to like smoke or drink or find some type of release with the Nine of Swords and the Temperance. Some of you have really bad anxiety. Like this situation is causing you anxiety. I'm getting like some of y'all want to go, you know, have a drink, want to go party, want to go do something fun. Okay. Some of y'all want to be around different people. Okay. Um, until you kind of like feel balanced again. But this situation I'm getting is very toxic. King of Swords, Libra, Gemini, Aquarius. Somebody is really blunt in, you know, in their communication. Yeah, Ace of Wands. Some of y'all are looking for some someone new. Yep, Six of Wands. Oh, I'm getting very successful in something. Okay, in something new. A new relationship. Wow. A new connection. A new bond. Ooh, the Tower. Yeah, some of y'all in the hermit. Some of y'all are just going to feel better when you get something new. Y'all are constantly like, yeah. See, I feel like y'all do think, y'all are going to be thinking about the past, okay? With that hermit and the six of cups, y'all are going to be thinking about the past. And I feel like some of you are going to be kind of like waiting for this person, waiting to see what else this person has up their sleeve. But at the same time, your intuition is telling you that you'll regret it, okay? That you'll regret it. You'll regret it if you if you give this person another chance. Yep. 
the nine of cups and the death card. Yeah. Yeah, the eight of cups. And see, this person didn't treat you right. Two of swords and the justice. They just didn't treat you right. And they might have disrespected you and treated you all type of way in front of a lot of people. Three of cups and the five of wands. That's a lot of people. Okay? Like, just talk to you and disrespect you or said something to you out of the way. And it's just like, no. No. I feel like you're putting your foot down this time. And you're trying something new. Like, you want to do something different. You want something fresh and new. You want some new energy. Let's see what advice we have for my Geminis. What advice is there for Geminis? You got leap. See, I told you. Take that. Go ahead and take that leap of faith. Like, I feel like some of you have already have taking a, a risk, a leap of faith by walking away from the situation. Like I said, we got leap. We got Lemuria. Creating heaven on earth is happening, okay? And what you have to realize is everything starts within you, okay? So you create that heaven within yourself so it'll manifest into your reality, okay? You can't do that when you have a negative Nancy over here in your ear and interrupting your peace, okay? You have to go somewhere, get quiet in a quiet place, and meditate on exactly what it is that's best for you. You cannot pour from an empty cup as well, okay? The last chord we have is break the chain. Yeah, ancestral patterns, healing, and rewriting your future, okay? So it's definitely time to, you, you know, not even erase. Just take these lessons with you so you will know what, you know, what you want and what you don't want, how to do, go about things and how you want things to go for the future okay and you need to mother yourself okay and this is about self-love how can you mother yourself this is about self-love okay it's time for you to take time for you to heal you okay and, and and do what's best for you and everything else will coincide and follow along but you it always starts with you and within yourself okay all right i hope this message was helpful guys um if you like to book your very own personal reading um, if you want to follow me via Facebook, all that information is in the description box below, guys. All right. Until next time. Ciao.